Bhutan, a small country enshrined in the Himalayas, leads the way in the pursuit of holistic, inclusive and truly environmentally sustainable development. This commitment emanates from the visionary statement in the early 1970s of His Majesty, the fourth King of Bhutan, Jigme Singye Wangchuk, who said that the gross national happiness was more important than the gross national product. This sustainable development philosophy has its roots in the Buddhist belief that there is more to life than material development. According to beliefs, true development happens when spiritual, social, environmental and economic developments occur in harmony with each other. Since then, all policies and laws in Bhutan need to be in line with the four pillars of gross national happiness, which are equitable socio-economic development, preservation of culture, conservation of the environment, and good governance. This has become Bhutan's central development philosophy and has made the country a champion in the pursuit of sustainable development. Are serious about the pursuit of happiness the ultimate purpose in life and the long-term survival of humanity. Happiness in Bhutan is therefore the basis of all public policies. So in our development, we chose not to, to focus on just the economy aspects of jobs, food, clothing, shelter, health and education, but also to look beyond this and look at aspects of promoting green development, preserving the environment, promoting uh, culture, strengthening the community, etc. And uh, it's all based on the belief that if we do this and find that balance, then our people can hopefully lead these happy lives that they want. The Buddhist um, believe that uh, protecting nature, protecting uh, biodiversity, protecting our plants and animals, it leads to if you uh, are, are kind to other living beings in this life, your next life will also be better. The joint UNDP-UNEP Poverty Environment Initiative, PEI, is supporting the Royal Government of Bhutan's efforts in ensuring this greening effort is reflected in its development plans, programs and budgets. In 2010, a joint support program with the Gross National Happiness Commission as the lead agency was implemented to enhance capacity of central and local government functionaries and officials, including CSOs, NGOs, 
to make sure that any development decision taken contributes to achieving environmentally sustainable development. The Poverty Environment Initiative led by the United Nations Development Programme and United Nations Environment Programme therefore provides an ideal platform for creating enabling conditions to adjust the dual goals of poverty reduction and environmental sustainability. Poverty is very much linked to natural resources because if our natural resources are you know gone then our majority of our population which is about almost 80 percent of our population are depending on this natural resources so they will have a huge impact on their livelihoods um, if we uh, follow the environmentally sustainable and inclusive development path. Of course, the whole population will benefit, but it will be the poor who will benefit the most. One of the key achievements has been the greening of the 11th development plan of the Kingdom of Bhutan, which starts implementation from July 2013 to June 2018. This plan will guide any decision taken in the following five years. It includes a series of key objectives set out for each of Bhutan's sectors, together with indicators to monitor its progress. We have all these national key result areas like carbon neutral and green development, then sustainable and uh, sustainable management and utilization of natural resources. The plan is coupled with training to public officials, decision makers and planners which help them take better development decisions both at the central and at the local levels. Uh, once they have the concept and the principles and rational uh, how climate change is caused, what causes uh, environment uh, degradation, uh, it is easier for them, it is fairly easier for them to later get into the adaptation strategies. We are looking at uh providing some energy efficient uh, or uh, those devices that have lesser uh, energy consumption, for example, biogas and uh, electrical stoves. A reference group to green government's work has been created. It has already contributed to helping a number of ministries, agencies and sectors making their procedures and work environmentally sustainable. Uh, the Ministry of uh, Finance, uh, where a lot of procurement rules come out from. And uh, there, one of the recommendations to mainstream is that the procurement should be made environment friendly. In terms of macro level policy, Bhutan has decided to become a carbon neutral nation and an organic country. Over, over two thirds of our population depend on agriculture. Uh, what we realize is Agriculture as practiced in modern ways appears to be giving high returns and very productive but over lifespan if you really look at it in terms of damage it does to soil etc. Uh, it is increasingly becoming more clear that organic uh, uh, ways are actually much more sustainable and better. It has equipped itself with a policy screening tool which rejects policies that do not contribute to sustainable development. Uh, we have formulated an industrial policy, uh, economic policy, which only promotes clean and green sectors for our economic uh, growth. In terms of regulations, the environment is enshrined in the constitution. For example, the constitution requires Bhutan to preserve 60% of its territory as forest for all times to come. And in reality, forest coverage has been growing and now it's close to 80%. Uh, over 50% of our country we've declared as protected areas, parks and wildlife corridors. On the basis of interventions on the ground, a good example is roads, where construction has to comply with strict environmental standards and projects cannot be undertaken without the consent of the community. It's important to invest uh, in, you know, environment-friendly road construction. But it has long-term impact, long-term benefits. Ultimately, you know, they would reduce uh, the cost in terms of uh, uh, the, the maintenance cost in the long term.
To reduce carbon emissions, a green tax on private transport has been approved, and a study on eco-efficient public transportation has been conducted in Timpu. Every Tuesday has now become official walking pedestrian day, where no private transport is allowed in urban areas except for city buses. I think we really have to take care of our natural resources uh, in a way that will give benefit to our people and also uh, give benefit to the economic development. So that's why I think this mainstreaming environment is very important. Having a good, clean, natural environment is proven to enhance the well-being of people. Green development is not really a choice. It's presented as a choice, but we feel it's a false choice because eventually if things have to be sustainable, the environment must be preserved, promoted and used in a sustainable uh, fashion. The Kingdom and the people of Bhutan can consider themselves as an example to follow in the effort of successfully combining the country's right to development and environmental sustainability.